Hello again, this is a very quick review of the Elegoo Nano uh, Arduino clone. Um, it's a pack of three, it came, comes from Amazon UK. It was shipped uh, Prime, so it came next day. Uh, so it's obviously come from UK stock. The, I've used a lot of these, um, I've used a lot of them from different brands. Uh, this particular brand, I have used Elegoo stuff before. In fact, I've got a lot of Elegoo kits and things kicking about. Uh, so I know what to expect from this brand. They're very keenly priced. They're quite often the cheapest on Amazon. Um, and I don't think this is any different. I think this might have been the second cheapest available. Uh, but certainly for a pack of three, it was very keenly priced. But like I say, I bought them before, or I bought this brand before. I know what to expect from the brand. So uh, I wasn't surprised to, to find this come it's nicely packaged. I have had these opened and I've tested them, so I'm just going to let you have a look at what you get. So you get a nice nice little box, here's a little bit of detail on the back, um, usual business address. This is quite good actually that you get the full business address, there's a telephone number, uh, there's an email address and there's a website address. A lot of things that you get from Amazon, uh, even though they're UK stock, they'll come in a little package. Um, quite often... In fact, they've probably got something something to hand. Yeah, so you get this sort of thing where there's a bag and it's got a part number and some parts on it. Um, but you get nothing more than that. No instructions or no website. Um, these uh, Elegoo are quite nicely packaged and they, they've, their customer support. Uh, I've spoken to their customer support before and they seem very responsive. So this, uh, this comes in a little cardboard box. Inside, we've got three bags of header pins. This is a, the type where you solder the header pins on yourself, so you get a choice as to whether to use header pins or not. The other advantage of not having the header pins pre-soldered is quite often uh, you'll get kits that will arrive and they've got header pins on them, but they're not straight, so they won't fit nicely into a breadboard. And that's really annoying. Uh, I've destroyed a couple of uh, little microprocessors trying to desolder them so that I can straighten the pins. Um, and because these things are quite often on multiple layer boards, they're almost impossible to desolder successfully. So that's why I quite like the fact that they're not soldered. Then you can choose to wire it directly in onto your project, or you can choose to put header pins in and take the time to do it yourself and make them nice and straight. So inside you've got another little box, it says it's the, the Nano um, Open Source Electronics Prototyping Platform. It is a clone, um, but it is a, a, an Arduino clone and it is an open source platform, so you know there's nothing uh, illicit going on in terms of copyright there. Um, Elegoo are claiming copyright on this box. Uh, EA. Copyright 2019, Elegoo Inc, all rights reserved. Uh, I think the only thing they can really copyright on this box is the Elegoo logo, uh, because the Nano is an open source device. Inside the box, we've got the Nano itself, and it's quite nicely designed, and it's nicely finished. Um, I haven't done anything to these, I've just taken it straight out of the box. Usually, in fact, what I've got above my bench, a Dremel, and it's got a little cutting wheel on it. And in fact, I did one ten minutes ago. You probably see there's some fiberglass on here. I quite often, have to start these up and clean off the edges of the board because they've got they've got loose fibres. These don't. These are quite nicely done, and uh, I have to say that everything's pretty clean on here. The uh, the boards are clean, there's no flux residue, the edges are clean. Uh, on the top, there's a little bit of captain tape over the top of this, I don't really know why. I'm pretty sure... Let's see, I'm pretty sure it'll just peel off. I'm pretty sure it's just... Yeah, it's just a piece of captain tape. don't know what that's for, it's probably from the manufacturing. It's pro these are probably on a bandolier and they go into a machine and get get automatically applied um, but it's that's not necessary uh, but yeah it's nice and clean everything's straight the soldering uh, obviously these are 
surface mount so they'll be dipped or baked uh, solder on them really nice on the other side the USB chip yeah it's all nice voltage regulator so everything's in really good shape uh, like I say I've I've used them I've tested these out they work perfectly um, but the quality on them is very high um, and the pins the, the header pins that you get I'll just open these up Header pins are fairly standard. These ones are they're quite nice. They've got a slight gold tinge to them. I don't know what that is. Um, I've got nothing to test it with to see what kind of metal it is, but they do have a little gold tinge to them. Doesn't say anything about it in the on the web on the the listing. The header pins are actually the ends are cut really flat, so they've been manufactured like this. Um, they're not just snapped off. Um, or if they are snapped off, they've been really cleanly done. Let's see, see if you can see if you can focus on that. Um, yeah, they're they're really nice. So all in all, these are good units. They're very keenly priced. They work very well. I've used a lot of them in projects, and uh, this is a, a very high quality unit for the price. Thanks for watching.